Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Calendly. Calendly is an easy to use scheduling service. If you'd like to stay organized and not miss a schedule, then this tutorial will be great for you. Right away, we're going to get started. If you're using this for the first time, you can go ahead to the top right corner where you can see get started. Click on it. And here, you'll need to create your free account. You can scroll down where you see the option to sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft. Of course, you can use your email and create a password, but we'll choose to use the easy method. We're going to click on sign up with Google. Then we're going to choose an email address, which we'll like to use with Calendly. Click on continue. And then here you're going to set what Calendly can do. See, edit, share, and permanently delete all calendars you can access using Google Calendar. This is important if you're to use Calendly efficiently. And then we'll scroll down and click on continue. And on this page, you will feel how you plan to use Calendly, either on my own or with my team. For now, we're going to choose on my own, click on next. Then here you're going to choose your role. We're going to click on education, click on next. And on this page, you will see which of your email addresses is connected to Calendly. You can also see the status as connected, which is good. And one of the great features of Candly is to help you check for conflicts. You can see here, check for conflict. And then underneath it says select calendar or calendars to check for conflicts to prevent double bookings. So currently we have just one email address connected. And here you have add to calendar. This is a selection of the calendar, which you would like to add to new events as they are scheduled here on Calendly. It also gives you this option to opt in or out, deleting or declining an event in your calendar will also cancel it in Calendly. We're going to leave this here because we want a synergy of both our Google Mail and Calendly. We're going to click on next and here you're going to set your work hours. On Sunday is by default unselected because maybe you should be resting on Sundays and then you have Monday to Friday. You can make changes here. Now these time ranges are by default. However, you can make the changes yourself. This is by the standard nine to five setting, but if you're working from nine to four, you can click on it and you can change it to four. And then you could do this for the other options. This is important if you want Calendly to help you with your scheduling. If you have an interval on any of the days, you can come over here and click on the plus icon. What this will do is it will provide another input field where you can make your intervals. For example, if you have a break on Monday, which is expected for every day, you can say 9 to 11.30. We're going to click on this and make the change. This is 9 to 11.30, and then we're going to say 1 to 5. Awesome. And you can repeat this for any other days. However, you can copy this and apply to the other days to make things simpler. Apply, and this will apply to the other days. Makes it fast and easy. You can also see Saturday unavailable. If you click on Saturday, however, you'll become available according to what you've done. We're going to uncheck this box, and then here you get to set the time zone so things can be accurate. When you're done with this, you can click on next. And then on this page, which is the fifth step of five, you can see how would you like to meet with people. There are three of the popular options, Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and then you also have the traditional in-person or phone call. We're going to leave it on Google Meet, but you could choose what you want. We're going to click on continue, and here it's setting up your Calendly. Now this is finally the main page of your Calendly. This is where you get to make all the beautiful stuff happen with Calendly. This page is divided into three main parts. On the left sidebar, you have some settings, which for now are just icons. In the middle, you have your main view, and on the right, you can see Get Started. If you'd like to get to know more, you can click on any of these options. However, you can simply close this by clicking on the X. Now on the left sidebar, we mentioned that these are just icons. If you want to know what they are, you can simply hover over them. These are event types, meetings, availability, contact, and you can do this for every other icon. However, if you're not used to this, you can go to the top, still on the left, and click on the arrow. This arrow is to expand navigation. And right now, it's a bit more easy on the eyes, especially if you're using this for the first time. So once again, all these icons now have different names without hovering over them. 
However, you can see that you're losing from some of the real estate right here. If this is fine by you, we can continue. Now for this tutorial, one of the things we would love to show you is how to set up Calendly for appointments. Now with the setup, we already showed you how to connect Calendly with your email to help you with scheduling. And right here, you can see the first option, Create. We're going to click on Create. And here you can see these options. There are three options here. For the first one, if you have regularly scheduled events, you can set this one. If you'd like to have a one-off meeting, you can also select this one. And if you're working with a team and you'd like to have the perfect time for everyone, you can use Meeting Poll. And now we're going to choose one-off meeting. Click on this. And on this page, we can make some preference settings. Here you get to choose the time zone, the duration of the proposed meeting. It's currently on 30 minutes, but you can make some changes by clicking on the drop down. And if you're not seeing your time, you can click on custom. You can manually set it here, 30, and you can set minutes or hours. We're going to leave it at 30 minutes. And here you can see the host details. So right here, we can choose a date which is Thursday 12th, and we could click on any time right here. On the left, you can see the different times. So this is 1500 hours or three o'clock. We can click on this and one time has been selected. We can click on next. Here are selections and event details. On the selections, you're going to see your name, the details of the duration of the meeting, one time on one day. When you click on the drop down, you can see the specific date and time. Of course, if you notice any mistakes here, you can come to the edit button. And when we scroll down, we can see event details, meeting name, one off meeting. You can change this to what you want and then location. You could also set the location. Now, if you're not seeing any of your options right here, you can click on the drop down and you see other options. Now, depending on the situation, you can set the meeting location or you can ask the invitee. In this case, we can choose Google Meet and then you have the option to add description or instructions. And say we want to meet just before the time, we can set a note and you can see here, please be available 10 minutes before the scheduled time. And then when we scroll down, we can see optional settings. You can choose the language. And when you click on the language here, you can see different languages. The languages are not many, but there are some options. And then when you're done with everything, you can click on share meeting link. Awesome. Now you have the Calendly meeting link and you can click on copy link. Now, when you copy this, this will be on your clipboard and you can place it somewhere else to help your invitee to access it. There are more ways to share, which you can explore yourself. After setting the meeting and making sure that your invitee accepts the meeting, you can do some other things with Calendly. If we go over to meetings, we're going to see upcoming meetings and pending meetings. For example, we just set a meeting, but we cannot see it right here under upcoming because this has not been confirmed by the invitee. If you go over to pending, however, you will see the one-off meeting which was created and it's currently under pending. Then you have availability, which takes you to the page where we had set our availability for the week. And under integration and apps, you can see the other apps which Calendly can be integrated with. Remember, we connected Google Meet and Google Calendar. We use these two options to create our meeting. You have these other options to help you with your organizations. There are other options, and if you want to see them, you can click on Show All. Now back under Events Types, which is this link, you can view your booking page. When you click on it, it's going to take you to this page where you can see details of your planned meeting. So in this tutorial, we've been able to show you how to set up your Calendly and set up Calendly for appointments. You want to go ahead and sign up and see what more you could do with it to increase your organization, improve your efficiency, save time, and make some other automations using Calendly. If you want to use more features, remember that Calendly has other plans which you can explore for yourself. At this point, we hope Calendly has been made easy to use. Thanks for watching.